All right, Ian's guys, here's another video. Um, you ever get in one of them uh, situations where you get invited somewhere by people you know, and um, like to the whatever event it is, like whoever's speaking, you have no problem with the person or anything. You know they're pretty cool, but maybe they'll overstate something and overdo it with something like that, and. And it would put you in a position where, you know, maybe like you're polite, you're like a very polite person, and uh, you have, you're in a position, because of your politeness, you get put in a position where you have to um, disguise a laugh as a cough, like maybe you accidentally maybe bust out laughing. Uh, well, I had that happen to me once. It was like a bunch of years ago. I got invited to these people I knew, you know, from around the block went um, to go visit their church. I says, oh, all right. And reason why I got, uh, why I agreed to go is because, oh, they told me it's one of them very rare deals where everybody just dresses however they want to. And I went there, there's a lot of old people there, a lot of people wearing, you know, the a variety of different things, jeans, you know, plaid shirts, and, you know, old people plaid, the, the old people wearing their old people plaid shirts and all that, and and they told me a story, too, where how somebody else went to their church and they wrote a letter, had the nerve to write a letter that they were offended, that people were actually writing, wearing, <laughs> right, that somebody uh, did have the gall to write a letter to the, that church and say that they were offended because these people were wearing clothes that actual street clothes and not dressing up like everybody's supposed to like women weren't wearing dresses and then the guys weren't wearing suits or them ugly short sleeve dress shirts or whatever and I was like geez <laughs> somebody had the nerve to actually write a letter like um, I'm getting off of the subject a little bit at hand but yeah, doesn't it that kind of make you want to open up your own church and deliberately do that just because you know somebody might come and they might get offended? Like, hey, if somebody has a church and wants to have, you know, wear just street clothes, and hey, it all more power to them. But anyway, that's not the subject that I was actually talking about. But I was actually with the subject of uh, I was on is that um, when a preacher actually speaking, you know, the normal things, you know, a little bit of song, a little bit of things from the Bible, and, and some speaking, um, he actually started telling a little bit of story about it when, when he was sick or for a while, you know, and sick in bed for like a long time. And, you know, a lot of these people tell these, you know, stories about their miracles, you know, most of the time, you know, you uh, just, you know... Uh, listen and humor it or whatever and some people will believe it or whatever but either way and if some stories are too big you usually just listen or some people tune them out or some people just tune it out and let it uh, pass over them but and you're at some kind of you know really a noisier place like a Pentecostal or anything where they're dancing around like and you're maybe used to the stories and because uh, it's all wild and you're diverted but if you get a quieter pl church like this one that's just not all like at and then just he was casually speaking about how he was in a uh, you know hospital bed or like in bed or whatever it's sick and he made the thing about you know I don't guess he's trying to indicate guardian angels or something and he made a story about like that there was this light or ball of light or whatever I mean he made the story he, I mean he was actually that bad I don't know if, you know, some people, they're not bad people. They exaggerate things a little bit to try to bolster faith. But maybe uh, some of them will, tr some of them people are more charismatic and they can talk in pictures real well. But then there's others that will try it once in a while and uh, they're very bad at it. Whether it's true or not or, hey, maybe when you're on pain medication and stuff like that, you know, and you're out of it a little bit, you, you see a little bit of things too, you know what I mean? But anyway, nothing against the person that 
nothing against the guy, but he was a pretty nice guy, but the story was like really so bad and it put this uh talking in pictures that way it actually put an image of a sci a sci-fi movie in my head and so anyway i'm trying to i don't i won't really go into detail with his story but it was that much in a nutshell and it made me actually bust out laughing nothing against the guy you know and i actually um to not hurt anybody's feelings or you know you don't want to be unpolite and somebody you get invited somewhere or something and I didn't even have anything to against the guy, but I actually bust out laughing, and I had to disguise it as a cough. So, you know, when you almost want to start laughing somewhere, you don't want them to see you, you're going to... <laughs> but, so I all of a sudden started trying to make a bunch of phony phlegm, and I started going... <coughs> I was like... <coughs> <coughs> so I was trying to... I was trying to disguise... <laughs> I was trying to disguise that as <coughs> you know and just well you get the idea of really putting your hand over your mouth you know like you do with laughter and you're trying to <laughs> disguise it as trying to disguise the wheeze from laughing as a cough yeah I hope I didn't jibber jabber too much telling the story but anyway it was one of those reason why I got invited was one of those churches it it, it actually got my attention I says oh all right I'll go with you once and visit once because after they told me that people everybody wore street clothes you know old people wore regular old people plaids and all kind of different things like that and since they told me the fact that somebody went to their church and actually wrote a letter a nasty letter about them like they had a nerve to be offended because everybody in a church was wearing regular clothes it got me to want to go so I went you know and I knew these people but so basically um, it maybe took me too long to get to the point there but anyway uh, that's why I went and I was put into that position where you know there are some people out there like us as I talk about some of these people in they were a joke, like the Benny Hinn thing and some of these other places. I visited a couple other religions, too, a few times in my life, too. But, yeah, there's a lot of ones that, you know, we're not shy about actually outright laughing at. But once in a while, even if it's not a religious thing, if it's not a church thing, there may be a position where we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or we uh, don't want to, I guess, offend the person that we're with and we don't want to look like an... Uh, a jerk or whatever but you accidentally bust out laughing because maybe they're very bad at talking in pictures and you get this you're trying to picture it in your head and it looks like some sci-fi movie or something but anyway um, you're welcome to do a video response or um, do text comments if you had any such story no matter what it is whether it's religious or any kind of public event that you went to if you ever in a position where you didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings or you're worried about the people you're with or you don't want to look like I don't know you're being a jerk and if you ever if you ever had to try to disguise laughter as maybe a cough sneeze or some kind of coughing spell disguise it as a coughing spell if you ever had to do any of that at any kind of event go ahead make a video response if you want to do a comment a text comment if you want to but yeah I figured I'd share that because that's one of them uh, things that happen to us once in a while you know so I figured I'd just go ahead and post this video but anyway um, that's it for now um, and in this video right here see you next time <laughs>